In this video, I'll be going through the Criterion C strand 4, which is the last strand, a section of my design e-portfolio uh, report that managed to score me a 7 out of 7. So taking a look at the requirements, the student is required to explain changes made to the chosen design and plan when making the solution. So to explain changes to your design and plan, you list what changed from your design and plan, and you explain how they changed. So this uh, criteria is quite simple. You want to fully justify any changes made to the uh, chosen design. So how I organized it is I created this table. So I in one um, column, I talked about what was the original plan from my final sketch ID idea, which you can see in the Criterion B strand 4 section. And the next column, I talked about what I changed my actual product in the Criterion C strand 3 section. So this is a bit easier in order to track the original and what was changed to see the difference rather than just seeing what the change was. And after that, the next column on justification on the change is made. So you explain the change and you explain um, why, what was, the, what was the problem with the original idea and what was the requirement for the change. And after that, you explain how you made the change. And it's a good idea to include a good amount of changes. For me, I included around nine changes, but that amount is not necessary. If possible, six changes would be good. However, it's also understandable that not a lot of people would change quite a lot of things to their product because maybe you could plan really well, so everything goes really well, so there's no need to make any changes. So in those situations, you should try, sort of try to explain as to why there were no changes because this strand requires you to justify any changes you made. So if there were no changes made or if there are only a few changes made, you can justify this in a paragraph and state due to these reasons, because I planned like this, did this, there were limited or no changes and hence it's like this. But if possible, it's best to include changes because that's what the entire strand is about. But at least just a few. And so you, so you can sort of justify the fact that there's only a few rather than there being no changes at all. And after the changes, you can talk about challenges faced and try to include a minimum of three challenges. So you talk about the challenges faced and you explain the challenge and how it was overcome. So what is the challenge and why was it a challenge when making the product? And how did you overcome this challenge? What uh, sort of skills or ideas or sort of knowledge did you display while overcoming such a challenge? Which is everything to do with this criteria, especially why even if you have no changes, I would advise you to try to get some changes because otherwise it's a bit hard to score in the strand just by explaining that you have no changes. So if you were to sort of follow this format, you don't have to include nine, nine changes, but just a few is enough. You would be able to score a seven on this strand. Thank you for watching.